dragons are mentioned in different cultures all around the world, but in China, it's one of the most important symbols. In fact, Chinese people like to call themselves inheritors of dragons, Long de Chuan Ren. Now, when you talk about one of the most popular traditional dances that are present at almost any kind of celebration, you have to mention a dragon dance. It's a dance that brings different kinds of blessings to all the people all around. Now, I'm here in Chongqing, Tongliang County, to learn about this dance and to understand the reason why it's still so popular today. See, the dragon is following the pearl. Wow, so there's actually a tradition here in Tongliang County that every time there is a holiday, they would have like this procession, like a march of a uh, dancing dragon. And pretty much you would see all kinds of different dragons, the fire dragon, the water dragon, because they're responsible for different kinds of blessings. And when you see a dragon, it brings you luck. It brings you different kinds of good things. That's why everybody's excited to see it. And especially when it's a Chinese New Year, people like to see dragon because it brings the luck for the whole new year. Deep in the heart of the region, just south of the Yangtze, lies Tongliang County, a vibrant place that's home to a famous dragon dance. For centuries, the ancient art of the Tongliang Dragon Dance has been passed down from generation to generation, evolving into a local folklore masterpiece. Today, the Dragon Dance, a much-loved symbol of the Tongliang area, is enjoyed by people all over the world. Huang Pingyan is a national level inheritor of the Tongliang Dragon Dance art. He began his journey to becoming a master dragon dance choreographer back in 1965. Building on the foundation laid by previous generations of artists, Huang skillfully blended in more captivating storylines and created new, intricate routines that were at the same time graceful and powerful. His dragon dance performances are renowned for their unique style, their gentle flow, and their profound symbolism. They have earned him worldwide acclaim as one of the most talented dragon dance artists of his time. Beijing from its origins in the Tang and Sui dynasties, the Tongliang Dragon Dance evolved into a stunning cultural masterpiece during Ming and Qing times, and continues to thrive to this day. As a performance art, it perfectly blends strength and grace, motion and stillness, and showcases the perfect harmony between opposing forces. The Dragon Dance is not only a dazzling display of skill and artistry, but also infused with profound wisdom. He says you can't do it in a robotic way. You're just, you know, moving the pearl around. You have to kind of play the game. Dung. 
到底谁得到这个宝啊？呃，不知道，不知道，这个是没没人知道的，没人知道的秘密。这这就是永远的追求嘛。那还是亮相很重要，是不是？嗯，当当，对，那有点像川剧的那个感觉。就是就是就是。As a renowned Sichuan opera performer, Huang Tingyan has skillfully blended the techniques of his craft with the art of dragon dance to create a unique and captivating style. With his mastery of Sichuan opera music, theatrical techniques, and martial arts, and by seamlessly incorporating them into his dragon dance performances, Huang has created an outstanding blend of different art forms. You 听说好像您是在这里长大的是吧？对啊。我在这里长大，这九宫十八庙啊，没有那个庙子，没有我的脚印<笑>为什么这么说？因为我小的时候很，很很欠分很喜欢动是吧？哎，喜欢动。我在十一岁、十二岁的时候，我就就是争取这个活，干这个活那个时候的龙舞啊，非常频繁。频繁就是说，每一个节日都会有这个组织，是吧？他还有那个二月二龙抬头啊，也要舞龙。Ten different types of dragon feature in the Tongyang Dragon Dance. They include the giant centipede dragon and the fire dragon. The dance is an essential element of traditional folk festivals and celebrations, and is characterized by a rich variety of movement and rhythm that is both delightful and harmonious. Tongyang Long, 全是手工，手工把它做出来的，还有它的那个彩绘啊，它的色调啊，都很美。所以说，我们的道具跟我们舞龙的人。有一定的关系，在我们早先的时候，那个时候是一种民间杂耍，自娱自乐。那个龙舞啊，据我们那些老人讲啊，在我们安居都是有一千多年的历史了。哦，嗯，现在它是一代一代的往下传。嗯，轮到我们这一代了呢，我们就把它更上一层楼。Now 84, Huang Tingyan has been teaching the art of the dragon dance for almost 70 years. Throughout his career, he has trained thousands of students. Inspired by the master's unwavering dedication, several generations of young people from Tongliang have become part of the tradition of learning and passing on this ancient art. Now I'm taking you to a place, a very interesting place. It's actually a home of dragons. The reason why we can see so many statues of dragons is because Chinese people like to put them at homes because they act like guardians. When they put them at home, it brings blessings. And you know, that's why they want them, those dragons to be a part of the family. Now this key dragon is called Lotus Dragon because during the performance it will appear out of different flowers of lotus and it will come alive and it's usually performed by female dancers and it describes the mood of the early morning when you look at the lotus flowers field and it just gives you that summary vibe. Now this dragon is called Straw Dragon and usually in autumn, after gathering the crops, farmers would use the remaining straw and make it into this beautiful dragon. And this dragon is usually uh, consisting of nine sections and it takes ten people to operate. And it's like this dragon is looking over the farmers in the villages here in Tongliang. That's why everybody loves this dragon. Okay. 
呃，百路以后。苏老师啊，那这个比较合适的竹子啊，好找吗？这个在山下就不好找了，因为一般都要大山里面的竹，它经过那个风霜啊，而且时间都要在四年以上的。这个还可以，呃，主要是看下面的这个厚度哈，比较厚是好的吧？厚实啊、uh, ，so it needs to be really thick. 嗯 ，if it's thick, it's good. 我们这个笼啊、嗯，它就是一个 K 字形的 ，K 字形的，这个已经扎开了，而且扎开以后啊，嗯、你看这这上面它还往上翻，啊、还要往上翻，对对对对对，对往上翻呢，所以最大的角度，嗯哼，把嘴型的扎开了，里面呢还含着龙宝。The process of making a Tongyang dragon involves eight major steps, ranging from building the frame to the pasting, painting, and finishing. Most Tongyang dragons have a bamboo and cypress wood frame covered with silk and satin that is boldly and vibrantly painted. Every stage of the process is done by hand to ensure that each dragon is of the highest quality. Wow, this is really pretty, and I just cannot believe that they didn't have it all painted out. It just came all these details when his head, when he was, you know, doing the the head and everything. 蔡明灿 is the head coach of the Tongyang Dragon Dance Team, a pivotal figure in the preservation of Tongyang Dragon Dance culture. Under his leadership, they won the title of National Dragon Dance Team in 1999. He has also combined dragon dance with modern stage art, creating a professional performance team that is continuously unfolding the beauty of this traditional art form. The whole Tongyang Dragon Dance Team. 传承是非常非常广的，我们有我们的专业舞龙队，它是阶梯性的，一直一直传承下去。夹、拉，眼睛看，就往前面，一龙头，转，夹，拉，眼睛，夹，转龙珠，龙头跟到这。然后我们所有舞龙的动作，所有我们舞龙的套路。整个在呃中国我们同样这边呢是难度最高的，我们的底蕴在，我们的底蕴在，我们的面比较广，所以说我们的发展就比较好。哦，但你们门槛高啊！专业舞龙队它是难度很高，八九个人在一起合力做一个事情，就是一种凝聚精神、团队合作、团队协作的精神。In traditional culture, the dragon is a spiritual totem of the Chinese people. It represents good fortune, strength, and authority. The Tongyang Dragon Dance requires the team to work together in harmony to make the dragon move. The synchronization and coordination of the movements and precision of the performance reflect the core spirit of the Chinese people. The Tongyang Dragon Dance has featured numerous times in national celebrations in China. It has also been performed in more than 20 countries and regions, including the United States, the United Kingdom, and France. Now,我们换了一个场地，在这个场地呢，要根据它的场地的大小，我们来安排动作。这个队伍也是得了全国好多好多的奖，金奖第一名的也一个队伍。所以还蛮蛮巴子哎，蛮巴子啊，对，是一
，举起来，举起来，来了，岳老师，你你试一下。Hello Hello Hello Hello。哇，你跟着前面啊，慢慢来。你放松放松放松一点，压一下快腹肉，慢一点，慢一点，换动作了。换动作了，换动作了，往这边，对对对对对、啊，不要退，不要退，是站在原地啊！不错不错不错，叶老师不错不错。哦，哇！很辛苦吧？我我肌肉也还可以啊，但是到这个程度，我就玩了一下下就觉得很累啊。在跟他们配合的时候，你的手，一个是他的杠杆原理，你、啊、你拿。拿劲了，然后就这样，它就是一个八字的一个一个动作，就放松的做，你是全身心的在舞。Member of the Tongliang Dragon Dance Team is a student of Tai Ming Tan. With a background in dance performance, she always wanted to combine her skill with the Dragon Dance tradition. As one of the few women in the team, Li Jing has integrated her own unique techniques and style into her performance. Li Jing, I know you were first trained in Tai Ming Tan, right? Yes. But then you decided to take up Tai Ming Tan. Why did you make such a adjustment? Because I 本来就是同梁的嘛，之前是挺喜欢的。吕龙珠，嗯，就是把舞蹈和体育相结合在一起的。这是属于创新嘛？就是要把舞蹈和龙舞融合在一起。嗯、对，算是一个创新嘛。嗯哼。嗯、呃，舞蹈、武术和体育竞技合在一起的，就是刚柔并济。你看，你已经练了多久啊？这个龙舞，呃，三年。三年，嗯，我相信肯定是刚开始的时候不是一帆风顺的。对。练起来的时候有没有，比如说遇见什么样的挑战呀、啊，或者考验之类的？嗯，就是力量，我我力量比较小，然后、嗯、但是要去完成那些动作，然后就很，嗯，中途训练的过程就很困难。Coach Tai Ming Tan never goes easy on Li Jing because she's not as strong as the male dancers. He expects her to perform every movement with the utmost precision, no matter how hard it may be for her. Uh,像水管一样的那种杆子。对对对。站在里，然后我就踩那踩踩那上面练习，就是上去了，然后下来，上去了，下来，然后拿着龙头。嗯哼。嗯。然后每天这样练，因为嗯刚开始还不让我上
什么会让你一直坚持，或者觉得啊，这个很值得去传承还有练习？就是那种精神吧，对我来说就是一种精气神儿啊，感觉有这个龙龙文化在，感觉中国就是在发展。嗯嗯，这很很好。Is hot pot. It is extremely popular here because people like to cook everything in strong flavor, and you can tell like this pot is super spicy. Now I think there's actually a parallel with the dragon because, well, firstly, after you finish this food, you will be breathing fire like that fire dragon. This is today at night the show of the Dragon Dragon Dragon. This stage is quite big. Yes, it is the whole stage. It is about 80 meters of a stage. This stage from the first year to the first year to the first year. It is a great place to see. We are Chinese people. It is a very good place to see. We are Chinese people. It is a very good place to see. We are Chinese people. It is a very good place to see. We are Chinese people. It is a very good place to see. We are Chinese people. It is a very good place to see. We are Chinese people. It is a very good place to see. We are Chinese people. It is a very good place to see. We are Chinese people. It is a very good place to see. Chasing the dream of the Tongnan dragon as a drama performed on an outdoor stage that tells the story of a small calm that, after going through a series of challenges, ultimately transforms into a divine dragon. The play is a fresh interpretation of the spirit of the dragon as it is revered by the Chinese people, the spirit of pursuing one's dreams with determination. The spirit of the dragon is mentioned frequently both in Chinese culture and in everyday life. As dear to the Chinese people because they believe themselves as the heirs of the dragon to be responsible for carrying on its spirit. The spirit is hard to describe, but essentially it represents courage, nobility, power, and wisdom. Oh, in English you would call it like a metal fireworks. How high is the temperature to be heated? One thousand five hundred or more. How long does it take to reach one thousand six hundred or more? It takes about five to six minutes. Wow. 我们要开始上场了，我们在跑开。你怎么看得出来温度到了一千六百度？它那个火一燃上来，很白啊，很白色啊，白色。哦，对，那个、哦、那个火焰，火焰白的时候就是到了。了 so this is going to be turned into the fireworks. These you see like this little pieces. This little piece of metal is going to be placed deep in this bucket, and then he's going to use the coal to burn it. 加山那些那些屏幕那些的那些，大家一定要注意到去，还包括我们观众那前区那些，大家都要注意到注意到注意到。Before every performance, Cai Mingtan personally inspects the venue, while Li Jing and the team members make careful preparations backstage to ensure that the performance is the best it can be.
most spectacular moment in the performance is when the sky is raining with fire. Molten metal is beaten up into the air by the fearless performers using pads. Things got so hot that our crew even had to wear firefighters' jackets. The sky fire and the fire people are highly symbolic. When the sparks fly into the crowd, people don't dodge. Rather, they actively welcome them as if receiving a gift of peace and happiness. You this picture is too cool. Ah, no, no, no. It's just that we all the Wu Long players are like this. Why do we do this? Why do we wear clothes? Because if you wear clothes, the water is very hot, and it will be very hot. And then the water will be very hot. So when you wear clothes, it will be very hot. You need to wear clothes. 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 You need to wear clothes.